Hi guys, I'm Taylor. I'm an extension intern with NDSU and today we're going to be going over the basics of measurements and just so that we all are on the same page about the abbreviations and everything like that. First, we're going to start with the dry ingredient cup measurements. These come in a variety of quarter cup, third cup, half cup, and one cup. Cup can be abbreviated with just a simple C or it's just spelt out C-U-P. Next, we have teaspoon and tablespoon. These ones can get a little tricky because they both start with T. Teaspoon is usually always lowercase. This is abbreviated with just a lowercase T, T-S-P, or spelt out teaspoon. The larger one, which is actually three teaspoons or one tablespoon, is abbreviated with an uppercase T or TBS or spelt out tablespoon. The last measurement type we're going to go over is liquid measurements. These can be abbreviated with fluid ounces, which would be FLOZ, or spelt out. And to remember, one cup is eight ounces of liquid. These make it nice and easy because they have one cup, three quarters cup, half cup, quarter cup, but they also on the other side have all of the fluid ounce measurements as well, coordinating with what measurement you're on. Measurements can be tricky, but if you can remember how to read the recipe and the abbreviations for each measurement, it makes cooking and baking super fun and easy. Never get too scared or intimidated by the measurements. And always remember, when in doubt, you can always look it up too. Super easy and the internet is a great resource to make sure that you're using the correct measurements.